Okay, the job at hand is we have a Windrider Rave which uses polythylene and we've got to fill the crack so we're going to give it a test bit on this bit of polythylene. You can only weld plastic of the same material so uh, we looked it up and uh, this bottle is made of the same material. So we've introduced a crack and we're going to just put a V in it and then uh, we'll weld it up so let's have a go. So it's just like welding with metal, we want to create a V, 45 degree angles. So when we do the plastic welding, we're melting and putting a flow of uh, polythylene or whatever this material is in there and then get rid of that. So if we can do that successfully here, then we'll move to the kayak or the boat surface. So let's go. Okay, so we've got a polythylene. This is the same material. So if you read here, HDPE two or whatever that is, that's the same material as the boat, uh, the hull of the boat. So what we've got there is I've cut out uh, that, which is equivalent to a welding stick uh, for your uh, metals and that. So that's our stick weld. And what we're going to do here is use a heat gun to, you know, get this up to temperature, uh, make it a bit soft and pliable. And then we're going to use the soldering iron to melt uh, the, the welding stick into the hull and hopefully fix it. And at the end of that, we should not have that. That's the theory. Let's go. Okay, we're heating it up. You can smell uh, the fluoro, the carbons, or whatever is coming off it. So it's maybe not the best thing to use a finger, but yeah, it's getting hot. All right, so that's getting nice and hot. And how about that? All right, so that's starting to melt. So let's uh oh yeah, it's melting it up, all right. So there you go. First time I've ever done it, so we'll see what uh what the theory is, you know. So just like a stick weld, I'm just gonna try and put it in there, like melt it in just and pull it. Just like what I've seen all the metal welding guys do on YouTube. Oh, as you see, I'm just trying to feed it in. The old modelers blow on it. So that's my first pass. Let's just, just give it a second pass now. Okay, so I'm just smearing it down. Okay, I'm going to call that done. Let's uh, cool it off with a special instrument. So look at the inside. The old hog breath. So the inside looks good. It's uh, filled in the holes there. You can see the wider bit. Yeah. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, there you go. We had a split there earlier, so uh, the split is gone. Wow. The old shop inspector. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> right, start again. Oh, look at that. It's strong. I'm trying to pull it apart. I mean, that is factory finish. That is good right, stuff. Let's pull it up and see if anything right. drips out of it. Let's put it up high and let me have a look underneath the hang on. There you go. It's not leaking. That's a success. Alright, let's go and do the rave. Give it here and we can start we can start welding. How does it feel? Yeah, it's good. I'm just making a V so that you know our material can sit into the to the V. 
Well, the proof will be in the pudding. So last time this pontoon was in the water, it was uh, leaking water inside. So this will either work or it won't. But I'm pretty sure it will work. So now it's just like a sticker weld. I'm just going to uh, try and pull it in there. Heat up so it flows. Well, the blue matches the colour. Yeah, the same uh, bathroom cleaning uh, bottle from the supermarket, eh? <laughs> How awesome is that? So, roto moulded polythylene, I think they call it. Okay, look at that. I mean, that is a factory finish, right? Well, as long as it doesn't leak water. Pulling up nice. Hush now. Just a quick sand. Right. Okay, so after we've sanded it, you know, it looks a little rough, and then we just get the heat going onto it, and you can see uh, it's getting rid of the sanding marks uh, and, uh, you know, getting it back looking pretty good I mean I'm calling that factory finished myself and uh, yeah so uh, after you've sanded it hit it with a heat gun and uh, there you go it doesn't look too bad at all look at that. let's give this bit here a go and then we'll be able to polish the hull up and hey you know it's, uh, it's all going to be good there you go what do you reckon on to the next job. That's pretty good. Right, once you've sanded it, put the heat gun and it gets the blue back out. Yeah, that's just gets rid of it. Mm.
pretty good. There you go.